Hi guys and welcome to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron, if you're new, welcome, and if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash that subscribe button, it definitely helps uh, me out, and it also helps my other members know when I'm posting videos. And before we get started, I'm not a medical doctor, I do not make any medical claims, this is all based on my own personal journey, so please do your homework first. And for all my returning members, welcome back. And for all your recently new members, thank you for coming along my journey. Well, today uh, is the beginning of a new month. It is also the end of week 162 and the beginning of week 163. And uh, as expected, I didn't have a very good weight loss month. There, yeah, we had a lot of uh, uh, things happen, as you know, with the flood and my wife and, uh, you know, searching out for a new car. And of course, they started school and they had to suspend that for the time being. And uh, one thing led to the next, and of course, uh, when the emotions get in the way, I, you know, I was making some a lot of bad food choices, and I, you know, I couldn't concentrate too well, and you know, it, it's just life, and you just move on and you just deal with it. So not that all that is behind us. So what have we got going on for the month of October? Well, I'm going to do a few things in October. We're going to do a uh, BBBE triple challenge for the whole entire month uh, based on Joe and Rachel's from Two Crazy Ketos. They've done this in the past and had very good luck with it and I want to give it a try. The only two days I'm really not going to do the, the uh, BBBE is like when I do the uh, Fox Fizz, I'm going on the Fox Fizz on the 21st for the October Fest and I'll be there pretty much the whole day. And uh, the 15th of the month we have a... Uh, a Sunday dinner for the bigger workers in the uh, parish and that's probably going to be about it and the rest of the time I'm going to be very vigilant and very careful I'm going to try to limit my coffee to one a day no soft drinks um, with the BBBE basically you eat whatever you want on the you know what you're allowed to have and you stop and you're full and it takes a little while to get adjusted to it but I mean if you do the research you should be fine and uh, I'll film out what I'm going to be eating in those days and stuff like that. And I'm still going to make some keto meals and uh, thinking about doing the Aldi's uh, haul pretty soon and going down there, pick up a nice uh, order from Aldi's. And I saw John Rachel doing all the Aldi's haul with, from Florida, where they're from. Yeah, okay, they always have a lot of great buys over there and there's a lot of great stuff you can get for low carb keto and uh, for BBBE or carnivore if you're doing carnivore. So I would suggest definitely doing your homework first before you do anything like, like that regarding your health. And uh, so we did, uh, yeah, we had the bingo Friday night. My wife and my sister both played Friday. Neither one of them won anything. She had a good crowd. Somebody did win the 2000 Friday night. The girl that won it, yeah, she was very lucky there. She won the 3000 there about a month and a half ago. So she, that family's been really, really lucky there. And, uh, you know, my wife will win once in a great while, but not as much as you would think. And, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. But for us, it's just a night out and something we enjoy doing, talking to the people in the uh in the city there. So I've been doing a lot of lives lately. I really enjoy it. I'm gonna start doing some cooking lives this week. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna have one meal already prepped and ready to go. And then the next, and then we'll cook the meal together and I'll show you what the final product is. So you don't have to wait for the cooking time. And I think that should work. And I got a couple of tripods. I'll set up a high tripod over on the overhead and uh, we'll, we'll just deal with it together. My kitchen countertop has cat food on it. And you know, in the box kinds and that, no, no uh, wet stuff on the countertop, but you know, you know, uh, as long as I, and again, I don't have that much counter space, and sometimes I might mess up and say teaspoon when I meant to say tablespoon and that sort of thing. So just bear with me with that, and I'll try to have the directions with me when I uh, when I make something for the uh, low carb weight loss. And I want to make a jambalaya this week there, a gumbo jambalaya. We'll probably put some Polish sausage in. Uh, that'll be kind of like a keto meal. Simple spices, maybe some ground beef and some uh, hamburger, maybe some shrimp, I don't know. And then I'll add some vegetables and uh, that's that sort of thing. And, uh, and then some chicken stock. And uh, yeah, so today with sun it's Sunday, it's October 1st. I made a uh, pot roast today. I put it in the crock pot overnight or a slow cooker for eight hours. And it, I actually bought two good, pretty good side ones and because they, they shrink, you know. and but it's all four ten, it's all falling apart and I put some potatoes and carrots for my wife and I'm just gonna have plain uh, pot roast with a few carrots. And then I usually put a nice size onion in it just to add give it the uh, flavor. And today being October first, here we had this is around a new month. I went walking this morning. I did two miles this morning, I did almost four thousand steps. This is the first day we've seen the sun over here in these parts and better parts in the two weeks. It's been nothing but raining every day. It's been terrible. 
you know, ever since that flood there, we've been getting like constant bed buttons of rain every day, every, every, every day. So when the, the weather forecast from what I saw this morning, on the still lying, I saw bright sunny days all the way up until next Sunday. And uh, I also saw a couple of days is going to be possibly in the early 80s in the morning. So they're going to probably be the last of the Indian summer, which is great about this time of year, about fall. And you can have uh, one day you can be in the 50s. Like I woke up this morning, it was it was about 49 degrees. And then the, today is supposed to warm up to 70. So. You know, it's quite a fluctuation in temperature in the, in the early fall in the uh, going into the winter months. And uh, so we did buy a new car, as you guys know. I bought a 23 Hyundai Elantra. I really love it. I'm going to be doing some road videos with it pretty soon. And uh, the other thing about the Elantra, I'm going to try to go to the bank probably around January or February, see if I can buy it outright from the contract that I have from the lease agreement and uh, see how much of a difference that would be. And if I got to put down any more cash to buy it out, I don't know. I don't know if I, I, I know you can, but I, I don't know what the procedure is on that. And, uh, you know, we're going to continue with this. Got a couple of doctor appointments this week with Donna and myself and, uh, yeah, and then the, for the local events coming up on October 9th, we have the Cannoli Festival, we have the Tractor Parade, and we have the Halloween Parade coming up. And uh, I bought a DJI Gimbal Mobile Cam. For the, uh, it's a uh, device where you put your mobile camera on, and it takes really smooth video photos. Mine extends over nine feet, so I can really go up the street with the uh, selfie stick and take a lot of great video from the overhead and uh, do some fancy, uh, you know, uh, fake drone video footage, you know, and, uh, you know, like uh, if I see something interesting, like a nice great group of flowers, I can put the uh, this thing right over it and go, go up like I'm doing a drone video. And this is really cool about it. And, uh, you know, stuff like that. And I paid $150 for it on Amazon. I mean, I love Amazon, but they, they take me off to speak. I had to order a coffee coming in and I got a couple of things I needed. And uh, instead of just leaving it in the mail room like they always do, I get a message that if they weren't able to get all the mail, I shouldn't have to get all of me. I don't need to sign anything. Just leave it there like you always do. I think it was a new guy. So I'm hoping they bring it Monday there. And, uh, you know, but Monday I got to go to the college Monday and uh, drop off my books and find out about getting back into class. Uh, I'm probably going to see if I can get it locally over here in the city. They do got a uh, Mount Wachusett Community College campus here in the city. And I want to see if I can get a couple of, um, do a couple of online classes for the next semester. Hopefully I'm not too late. But if I am, I'll just wait till the next round and go around it. But I'm not giving up school. I just needed, to, I, it had so much things going on. I just, there's no way I could have squeezed it in. There's, it was, there's no way I'm going to write about going to Gardner and doing, doing some things with my wife and trying to get her out of the hospital and all that stuff. All this was all going on and write about my car and the car payment for the uh, insurance money. I don't know why that one had a damn issue with that. She, she was a bitch. I'm not dealing with her website no more. I'm, I'm done with it. You know, you know, I've supported her website right along and put out really a lot of t tons of great photographs. I'm just, the photographs that I do for the city now, I'm just putting it on my regular Facebook page and that's it. And uh, the hell with her, you know. But, uh, you know, and if you're watching my video, you know, you know, just be careful what you say to people because you don't know who you're hurting and, and what circumstances one, one must be uh, going through because uh, I went through a lot this past month and, you know, there's some things going on with my wife health-wise that you don't know about and a lot of people don't know about. And, uh, you, you know, don't be judgmental about what other people uh, do as far as what they can do, you know. And, and uh, you know, we got a lot going on for seniors, you know, and, and uh, you know, I do a lot for the city and I, don't, I didn't need to hear that. So, uh, you know, you're the one that's going to lose out and the people that support your uh, Facebook page. But, uh, you know, they can still follow me along and, yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm just wrong to be happy go lucky and I'm going to get out there. Um, my friend Steffi's doing a walking challenge. I want to be taking part of that, which is kind of basically what I'm doing. I feel it coincide with the BBBE challenge. Um, she said maybe get out half, half, a, half an hour each day and go walking a little bit. And, uh, well, I've already done uh, 4,700 steps already this morning. I did two miles of walking and then might go on again this afternoon where we got some really good weather this month. And I'm not going to, I'm just going to go. I'm going to keep every day. I'm going to get out there and go walking, you know. And, it, and, and I, I, now that we're in the fall, I'm going to start taking some fall, for, for, you know, photography because you can really get some really great, bright, uh, brilliant colors, especially when the temperature drops down to 40 or below. And, you, you know, that's, they really start bringing out those fall colors, you know. So, we, you know, we, and of course, they haven't been down the Apple Orchard in a while. 
and they got a festival coming up this month. So we got the tractor parade, we got the uh, Shoulder Palms Fall Festival coming up, and then we got the Cannoli Festival coming up, and the Halloween parade coming up. So that's at least four events I want to film. So what I want to do is I think I'm going to film everything on, I might do one or two events live on the YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, I, and I'm going to film them and, and then edit it and then put it up on the channel that way. Because I, I, I can't have too much talk. Usually when he does these live events, there's always some regular copyrighted music playing in the background. And I got to be careful with that because I don't want any YouTube strikes and copyright. Because, we, you know, we're getting up there. I need uh, I need 3,000 watch hours of watch time. So if you know how to do a playlist, can you help me out and just loop a playlist for me? I have about 500 playlists open right now that I'm looping 24-7. So, uh, you know, and they got my watch hours at 11.36 as of this morning. And they need to be at 3,000. The rest of everything else looks good. I got to start making some short videos now and really start concentrating on that. What I'll probably start doing is taking some of my older recipe videos and condensing them down to one minute. And then uh, I think I'll be okay with that. Just to, And maybe have about 30 or 40 of them ready to go up and just put them all up. Because that all comes to your watch all the time still and I hadn't been doing any of that you know because I never knew if I was ever going to get monetized or how close I was ever going to get but now I'm getting really close to it so you know you know it'll, it'll be good once that happens because then they can start doing giveaways and stuff like that and uh, so I'm looking forward to that so like again you know, we're just taking one day at a time as God gives it to us and I uh, hope today is better than yesterday and uh you know, again, thank you for all coming along. Be watching for some of the meal prepping for the BBE that we're going to be doing. And uh, if you're not sure what that is, do your homework, and, but you'll be fine. You know, we, we thought about doing an egg fast and beef, beef and butter fast, but we decided to go this way instead. And uh, yeah, so it, that of all these, uh, I saw Joe and Rachel, I got to, I, you know, when I went to Walmart, so I was looking for those uh, egg life wraps, and I didn't see them, they didn't have any. So I'm hoping when I go down to all these later today that, or, or this week there, I can find someone there and I'll fix them up. And there's a lot of great deals on some great meats and I'm still looking for pork belly. I haven't been able to find that anywhere. But we do have a local butcher in the area. I'm going to call them up tomorrow or, or Monday and find out if they sell pork belly and, and, and order some because uh, you can make some really great carnivore snack meals with that. You just basically take it and cube it all up and then you just fry it up and I'll put it in the uh, Dutch oven and just let it go until it's all fully cooked. As a matter of fact, I'm going to start doing bacon in a Dutch oven like that and just close the lid and just let it cook until it's done, you know, and then you get some nice clean bacon grease you can save out of it. But anyways, yeah, that's about all you really have to say. So be watching for some fu uh, future updates and some cooking shows that I'll be doing and uh, you know, have an amazing week. And again, thank you for coming along my journey and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.